as of today, I wanted to talk about Houston Rockets, their offseason prediction. So before we get right into today's video, I want to hear your three thoughts. What will they do? What are your predictions? Why will they do your predictions? And how will their your predictions come true? Let me hear your thoughts down below. What will the Rockets do? Like and subscribe for over 100 videos a month on the NBA and the NBA draft. Every single team. Now, right now, they're tied with the Magic Pistons for the best odds for the first overall pick. And they have the 17th pick in the draft. With the first pick, if they get the first overall pick, they're drafting Jabari Smith. Okay? He's perfect. So right now I have them driving Jabari Smith. And then they have the 17th pick. And somebody's been commenting that you guys need another big man, even though you have Alperin Shagun, Christian Wood, and Uzman Garuba. Garuba didn't really play, but Christian Wood, there's been rumor he could be tr traded. So at the 17th pick, I see them either getting Walker Kessler or Mark Williams. I think either of those guys would be perfect for you guys. So now let's get ready in, right into the rest of the video. And let's just talk about this team and what we could see. Okay, what is their offseason plan? Because look, this is a team that looks like a year or two away from being, you know, from playing for, for contending for a big, uh, for a playoff berth. I couldn't even speak right there. Now, Jalen Green and Alper and Shagun look like two guys that are worth building long term around. And the club will once again have a top five pick. So look, they have a terrific opportunity to go and get themselves another piece. And as a team that is rebuilding and they trade away most of their productive veterans, they still have a few. Eric Gordon and Christian Wood decided to hang on. And Gordon shot 41.2% from three, the second bar best mark of his, you know, of his career. And then Wood, on the other hand, has a $14.3 million cap hit. So when you look over here and there's also they're trying to find John Wall a trade market, but obviously he's probably going to be unless they attach draft picks, which I doubt they will. He's probably going to get bought out. Now, it's possible that attaching Wood and Gordon together could create more options for the Rockets. But outside of, you know, contending teams, no, besides the Lakers, and maybe a few other teams, I was going to take on John Walls. But besides that, I think the best thing is to pursue a buyout with John Wall, save a few million dollars and, you know, stretch his contract over and if you can look Kevin Porter Jr. Jay Sean Tate Kenny Martin all deserve extensions okay let's move on from Christian Wood and Eric Gordon let's embrace and even David Waba and let's just embrace Jalen Green Shagun Kevin Porter Jr. Uzman Garuba Josh Christopher Garrison Matthews Kenny Martin Dacian Nix you know and yeah I think just also you guys remember Troy Williams I just think this is a team. They also have the restricted free agent rights on Bruno Fernando, who Bruno Fernando had some moments. So if they want to get another look at him, go for it. And they'll have to put $14 million on the side for their two first round draft picks. So it'll be interesting. In my opinion, when you look at this, this team will have about $65.6 .6 million guaranteed on the books, which means that they can go out there and spend like $60 million. They'll have the mid-level exception of 10.3. They'll have a trade exception of 600,000. And they'll have a biannual exception of 4.05. So this is a team that, look, I think it's pretty simple. If you look at free agency, they should go out there and get themselves a free agent who can help set a culture. And who's a culture starter out there? Well, one could argue Miles Bridges or Jalen Bronson or J DeAndre Aiden will really help them a lot but i don't know if that's what they want to do i think more of the lines maybe if you need a big man i see this is the thing ricky rubio older but i think a guy along the lines of tyus jones okay i've talked about him a lot but i think if you get a younger guy who's still young who can who has some experience but he's not like 28 maybe he's still 26 or 25 and he can help you know establish the culture for this team and of what they're trying to achieve and you know there's some people out there that could be out there that for them and i know it's hard to think about but i think a guy maybe amir coffee he's a swing man who plays with a lot of energy and he's been on the clippers so he could maybe bring some of those clippers ideals and he's a young guy still relatively speaking he's under the age of 28 but you also have other guys like jalen smith he's not as much of a culture setter but he's got a lot of talent but shake Mullen. so look I want to hear your guys' thoughts down below. What would you guys do? I think, really, you got to look for players who are young, maybe on a bargain that you want on on your team. Like Isaiah Roby, he blossomed into a really good you know, stretch, stretch big man who has a nice touch rebounding, okay? I just think this is a team that let's establish the culture, okay? 
if my girlfriend just told me that she can take her final on her own and she can leave her she's done with school or she's done with school like she can literally leave tomorrow that's not fair okay that's not fair but yeah Jalen McDaniels is somebody I think they should pick up O'Shea Brissett another one I really like actually really Frank Jackson Austin Rivers is still relatively young he's he's his, his tenacity on defense is what could get him but let me hear your thoughts down below I think they're going to go out there, get guys who can set a culture, who have a few years in the league, then go through the draft, trade Christian Wood and Eric Gordon. So let me know your thoughts down below. And they'll buy out John Wall.